shalom, shalom, shalom. Giving our praises to the Most High and His Son, Yahweh Shah. Thanking Him for another opportunity to do His work, to do His will. To feed His sheep as He commanded us to do. And to wake up His nation, which is the 12 tribes of Israel, lost, scattered abroad, which is the so-called blacks, the so-called Hispanics, and the so-called Native Americans that scattered across the whole four corners of the earth, man. Uh, today, what we're going to go into, we're going to go into a topic that's not really talked about, but how wisdom is, how, how the spirit of wisdom is crying herself out in the street corners to the lost tribes of the, of the lost tribes of the 12 tribes of Jacob. And, uh, you know, this is something to where you see the spirit of wisdom on the street corners every week. Hebrews are waking up. You have all different types of camps. You have all different types of schools basically saying the same thing. Come back to your nationality, serve the most high, and keep the commandments. And that's basically what the spirit of wisdom has got out in the streets right now. But as you know that Israel, we are, are a rebellious nation that we don't want to hear wisdom. We want to hear folly. We want to hear smooth words. We want to hear garbage. We want to hear everything except what the most high has given us, and that's the spirit of wisdom. So we're going to jump right into it. we got a lot of precepts today. We're going to start in Psalms chapter 1. In verse 1, we're going into the spirit of wisdom today and how, the, how wisdom is on the street corner, crying out, trying to save the 12 tribes of Israel. But, you know, they don't want to hear it. Read this out. Book of Psalms, chapter 1, verse 1. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor in the way of sinners. We out there on that street corner every single week devoting our life to do the work of the Most High. We could go on vacation. We could go to the strip club. We could do anything other, other better than to do with our Friday nights and our Saturday nights over here in the Daughter of Babylon. We can do anything that we want to here in the Daughter of Babylon, but we out here risking our lives, doing the Most High's work, telling the Israelites that you should not walk in the counsel of the ungodly or the sinners. It's real comfortable hearing the daughter of Babylon because Babylon don't have no wisdom. Babylon just means confusion. It all started with Nimrod with the tower with the Tower of Babel. How he how he ruled his nation or how he ruled his kingdom was through lies, philosophies, and confusion. We don't. Nor sit it in the seat of the scorners. Nor sit it in the seat of the scorners. Israel is what they love to do. Israel loved drama, man. You bring out some drama, Israel got an ear to it. You bring out these laws, statutes, and commandments, and keeping the Most High commandments, Israel don't want nothing to do with it. Read. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. Your delight should be in the law of the Lord. The only way that the law of the Lord can come and sup with you is that the spirit of wisdom comes in and gives it to you. Read. And in his law doth he meditate day and night. He's saying in his law you should meditate day and night. It shouldn't be one day that you shouldn't crack open your Bible. Israel, still to this point, they do not like reading their Bible. They go three, four, five, six days not reading the scriptures, wondering why they got a spirit of hatred on them. Wondering why they got a covetous spirit on them. Wondering why they got a malicious spirit on them. Because they're not reading their Bibles. They're too busy on their cell phones, on Instagram and Facebook, looking at transgender men, female to male, and male to female transgenders all day. Looking at botched up bodies, plastic surgery bodies, and fake chains, fake drug dealers, and fake gangsters, and they still in idolatry. Read on. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit and his seed. You should bring fruit in your season. If you read Matthews, you know, it'll tell you that you should know his tree by his fruits. And a lot of Israelites, you can tell their fruits because their fruits are dead. Because their fruits are rotten. You look at their children. Their children are rebellious. Got a lot of women in this troop. They still don't respect their husbands as their Lord. You got a lot of weak men in this troop. Still don't know how to lead their woman to the kingdom of heaven. Still can't check that woman because they still afraid of her getting an attitude. That's not the spirit of wisdom. That's not the spirit of might. Read. That bringeth forth his fruit and his seed, his leaf. Also not with it. He said his leaf shall not with it. He shall not be tossed to and fro in doctrines. He don't understand what he's talking about. Read. And whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. He said what? And whatsoever he doeth 
Shall so if you so if you stepping with wisdom, if you keeping these laws and these statutes and these commandments and these judgments, along with the spirit of wisdom, you're gonna prosper in all your ways. So if Israel said that they prophets and saying that they got wisdom, why are we not prospering as a nation right now? Is the most high God a liar? What he's talking about in the third verse here? First verse of Psalms? Is he a liar? No, we don't. The ungodly are not so. You say what? The ungodly or not the so. The ungodly ain't trying to hear this, man. I don't I, I don't care how many precepts you pull. I, I don't care how many dresses you got with your fringes on, sis. I don't care how many Sabbath classes you go to, how many Bible studies you go to. If you ungodly, man, you ain't trying to hear none of this. Because at the end of the day, you're going to do what you want to do. Read. But are like the shop, which the wind driven out. Read on. Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand. The, the ungodly not going to stand in this judgment, man. Because where you're going is to the lake of fire. Read. Nor sinners in the congregation <laughs> of the righteous. Nor sinners going to be in the congregation of the righteous. The only way you're going to get any understanding is keeping the commandments. It's, it, it's, like, a, it's like a broken, you know, it's, just, it's like a nail in a hammer, man. Beating it into, it, it, it don't matter really what school you're going to. You got some wicked schools out there. Somebody got to be the scribe. Somebody got to be the Pharisee. Somebody got to be a Stoic. Somebody has to be a philosopher. We understand that. But if you go around all these congregations in Israel, they're basically saying the same thing. Serve your God and keep the commandments. But if you want to get a good understanding, you got to be keeping his commandments. Psalms 110, Psalms 111 and verse 10. Psalms 111 and verse 10. We're going to get more understanding on that. It's like a beating drum. You're going to hear the same thing over and over. But Israel, they still want to do what they want to do. They really don't want to serve their God yet. Read this out. The book of Psalms, chapter 111, verse 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Read that again. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Israel is still on fear the most high. They don't pray to their God. They don't read their Bibles. Because the white man is still in their head. It's like the Energizer Bunny just beating the drum in their head. They can't go two seconds without picking up their phone. They can't go two seconds without being having an itching ear spirit and going into drama, going into mischief, going into folly, going into evil concupiscence. They can't do it because they still in a nigga mind state and they say that they repent to the Israelites. Read that again from the top. Verse 10, the fear of the Lord. See, that's the thing. Israel don't got the fear of the Lord yet. If we had the fear of the Lord as a nation, we would be out of here by now. We would be keeping the commandments all of our high holy days. The women will be getting along with the women. The men will be getting along with the men, the austere men. We will have order, structure, dominion, rulership, slaves. We ain't got that yet because we still got Esau on our mind. Read. It's the beginning of wisdom. Wisdom is the principal thing. With, with all thy getting, get understanding. Read. A good understanding. A good understanding. You got If you want a good understanding of this Bible, read. Have all day. It say, it say have all day. Read. That do. His commandments. That do his commandments. You can't say you got a spirit of wisdom. You can't say that you're serving the Most High if you're really not doing the commandments, man. A lot of Israel be playing games with the Most High, man. I just had a man on the street corner come out and come tell me that Esau not the white man. Looking like a dusty roach on the bottom, man. Cigarette in his hand. No fringes. Fresh off the dark train. Ain't trying to keep no commandments. Ain't trying to raise up his nation. He want to run his mouth about the white man. Say who Esau is. If you don't believe who Esau is, you believe that Esau is the Arab man, they both got the same future. Servitude and bondage. Servants and handmaids, man. Stop playing games with the Most High. Read. His praise endure it forever. His praise endure it forever, man. Proverbs 12 and 7. I mean, Proverbs 1 and 2. Shall I? Proverbs chapter 1 and verse 2. We don't get some understanding. Wisdom been on these street corners ever since the beginning. When you read about Adam and Eve and it said that Adam and Eve heard the voice of the Lord walking through the midst of the garden, that was just his prophets out there giving them, thus says the Lord, man. We've been out on these street corners trying to teach the Israelites wisdom and knowledge and understanding, but they hate their God. Read this out. The book of Proverbs, chapter 1, verse, verse 2. Verse 2. To know wisdom and instruction, to perceive the words of understanding. So, King David is telling Solomon right now. He's telling them, you got to know wisdom and instruction to perceive the words of understanding. How you going to do that and you're not studying, man? How you going to do So, So if you're in school 
How you gonna figure to pass a math test if you ain't study for the test? How you gonna how, how, how you gonna figure to pass a trigonometry test? You ain't been doing homework. How you gonna figure to get the spirit of wisdom and understanding the knowledge and perceive the oracles of the most high? You ain't even reading your Bible, bro. What type of sense does that make? Read. To receive the instruction of wisdom. Israel don't want to do that. They do not want to receive the instruction of wisdom because wisdom is not nice. Wisdom does not cater to your feelings. Wisdom do not tell you what you want to tell what you want to hear, but it's going to tell you what your God wants you to hear. In Israel, they don't like counsel. They don't like coming to and admitting their sins. They don't like coming and understanding that in order for them to make it to the kingdom, you can't play games and be a fake Israelite. Read. Justice and judgment and inequity. Read on. To give subtlety to the simple. Read on. To the young man knowledge and discretion. You got to give these young brews knowledge and discretion. And this goes for you older sisters too, man, who love running y'all mouth. Y'all too old to be wicked out here, man. You got, oh, really, man, it's the older women that's out here wicked. You supposed to be teaching these younger women how to be children of the most high, daughters of the most high. But these older women, they, they, they all about drama. They all about running their mouth. They can never get along with each other. That's all throughout Israel, man. No matter what congregation you in, these older women, man, they need to humble down, man. And you older, weak men, y'all ought to be ashamed of yourself, man. Read on. A wise man will hear. He said what? A wise man will hear. A wise man or a wise woman, they will hear. Israel don't want to hear. They want to hear they self. They want to hear they mouth. Because they steady watching Atlanta housewives. They steady watching them transgender men and transgender women on Oprah Winfrey Network. They still watching Oprah Winfrey. They still watching Wendy Williams. They still watching Ella DeGeneres. They still watching Jerry Springer in the morning in, 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 in the Maury show. You're supposed to give ear a wise man and a wise woman will hear, read. And will increase learning. How you going to increase learning if you ain't studying? How you going to increase your learning if you ain't giving your ear to wisdom? You see the bruise on the street corners every Sabbath. There's plenty of Israelite schools out here now. You can't make no excuse. Read. And a, and a man of understanding <coughs> shall attain unto wise counsel. And a man or a woman will under and a man or a woman of understanding, somebody that's not bugged out, they shall attain unto wise counsel. They shall want to go to wise counsel. They shall ask continuous questions about how to get to the kingdom. But Israel, they don't want counsel because they think they got it all figured out, man. The wisdom and understanding in the, in, in the oracles of the Most High will only be given to the prophets, and the prophets are going to dish it out to the children of Israel, man. That's how it works. But Israel too cocky in the brain, man. Jump down to verse 20. Verse 20. Wisdom's quiet without. Wisdom cried without, man. Read on. She uttereth her voice in the streets. She uttereth her voice in the streets, man. When it's talking about wisdom, Wisdom is always compared to in the scripture as a beautiful woman. So when it says her, her is just talking about wisdom. It's just a similar to, it's just a parable. But it says she uttereth her voice in the street corners. How do you think that wisdom uttereth her voice in the streets? Is it like a woman named wisdom that's going around through the four corners of the earth and she's just out there yelling? Nah, man, the prophets had a spirit of wisdom and we utter the voice of wisdom in the street corners, read. She cried in the chief place of Concord. She cried in the chief place of Concord. She in downtown Dallas. She in Atlanta. She in L.A. She in New York. She in Alabama. She in Oklahoma. She everywhere. She in Arizona. She cried in the chief place of Concord. Read. In the openings of the gates. In the openings of the gates. It don't matter where it is. Bruce are on the street corners now, man. You ain't got no excuse. Or I didn't know. Well, they saying this and they saying that. You got bruised everywhere. She uttered her voice in the gate. Read. In the city, she uttered her words. In the city, she uttered her words. How you think that wisdom is uttering her words? Through the prophets, through these men. But we still looking at each other as class A niggas, man. We still looking at each other as nothing. So we can't understand this because we still got hatred for our brother and we still got hatred for our sister. We don't understand that we are the judges on the planet. We still don't understand that we are the gods on this planet to instruct the people. Read. Say, how long, ye simple See, this is wisdom crying out saying that. They thinking it's us, I. 
They thinking that, you know, they thinking it's us going out there and rebuking them, telling them how long you want to be stupid, how long you want to be second-class citizens, how long you want to be on the bottom, how long you want to be last high first five, how long you want to keep killing your brother because he stepped on your fake Air Jordans, how long you want to be talking down on your brother because he don't like the same homosexual rapper that you like, man. So y'all thinking it's us, but it's actually wisdom doing it. The spirit of wisdom. Read. Will ye love simplicity? The spirit of wisdom is crying out to the Israelites. How long are y'all going to love being second class citizens, sir? It's not us, man. It's just the spirit that's moving in us. Read. And the scorners. The light and the scorners. And the scorners, all they love to do is run their mouth, man. And this ain't talking about Israelites that sleep. This is talking for you awakened Israelites, man. These scriptures are for the awakened Israelites. During the time of King Solomon and King David and Jehoshaphat and Ezekiel, Isaiah, Jeremiah, they knew who they was, man. They wasn't sleep. They was just so rebellious that they didn't care who they was. There's nothing new under the sun. Read. The fools hate knowledge. You said what? And fools hate knowledge. See, they think it's us calling them fools, man, but it's actually the spirit of wisdom calling them fools, man. They think it's us because they don't read their Bible. They don't be studying this word. They don't be applying what they really reading and applying it to their life. Wondering why they got fired at the job. Wondering why the most high punishing them. Wondering why they married to a weak man. Wondering why he married to a Jezebel sister. Because he can't understand wisdom. Read. Turn you at my reproof. Wisdom is saying turn you at wisdom's reproof. Turn you back to these laws. Read. Behold. I will pour out my spirit unto you. He wisdom said, hey, look, she said, look, I'm going to come holler at you, and I'm going to give you these laws. I'm going to give you the game. Read. I will make known my words unto you. He said, look, wisdom, she coming up to you, she talking to you. Look, I'm going to give you the game. I'm going to show you your nationality. I'm going to show you where you're from, what tribe you're from. I'm going to give you a congregation to come in and to, talk, and to come build yourself. Read. Because I have called. And ye refuse. But Israel refuse it, man. They refuse it. They refuse it. They refuse it. Read. I have stretched out my hand. He said, Wisdom says she stretched out his hand, man. She stretched out her hand. Read. And no man regarded. She out here pleading a case unto the Father for you, man. Got the prophets out here doing the work and you do not regard it. Read. But ye have said at not. All my counsel. She said, you said that not all her counsel, man. She said not the prophets. She set up officers. She set up captains. She set up deacons and bishops and, and, and leadership, congregations. And you still said it at not. Come in the congregation, sit in just like you do in Christianity, man. Not caring about nothing. Not caring about your God, man. How disappointing is that? Read. And with none. Of my reproof. And what none of that reproof, man? You say we gotta stop eating that hog malt? You say we gotta stop eating them chillings? Man, I ain't trying to hear all that, man. You say Beyonce is a drag, man? Man, I ain't trying to hear that, man. Nah, no, nah. No. Not my idol. You say Jay Z is a dyke? You say Kevin Gates is a dyke? Nah, I ain't trying to hear that, man. What none of his reproof? Read. I also will lie. That's your calamity. Wondering why you still ain't got where you supposed to be. Wondering why your husband in the house still weak and effeminate. Wondering why your wife in the house still being a terrorizer, man. Still being a murderer in the house. A monster in the house. Because you don't want to listen to the wisdom. Come in. Go in one ear. Go out the other ear. He said he going to laugh at your calamities, man. Read. I will mock. When your fur comes, he said he gonna mock at you, man. He said he gonna laugh at you, cause he sent out his prophets with the spirit on them, telling you the truth. We just giving it to you, thus says the Lord. He said he gonna mock at you when your fur coming. That white man, you ain't paid that car note. Your heart start beating fast. He said he gonna mock at you, man, cause you playing games with him. Read. When your fur coming as a desolation. And your destruction coming as a as a whirlwind. Read. When distress and anguish coming upon you. Read on. 
then shall they call upon you. Then, man, when you got that 20 year bid, then you're going to be calling on the most high, man. <laughs> You know, then when the white man come reap on your car, then you're going to be crying out to the most high, man. Read on. But I will not ask. You say what? But I will not ask. You say he ain't, he ain't hearing none of that garbage, man. He ain't, he ain't playing games with y'all. He ain't hearing none of that. Israelites been in the truth four, five years, been awakened four or five years, still in the same scene from day one. Read. They shall seek me early. You're going to be trying to find the most high. Read. But they shall not find He said he ain't trying to hear none of that garbage. Read on. Boy, that they hate it. They hate it, wisdom, man. We on the street corner every Sabbath, every week. We in the, we, man, we done hit apartment complexes. We done traveled. We done been on the street corner giving you all the game, man. But you hate it, man. It's time to awake, Israel. It's time to stop playing games with the Most High. Start taking this serious, man, because the day of the Lord is on its way. We just out here just trying to tell you. Read. And did not choose to fear. Of, and did not choose the fear of the Lord. Didn't choose the fear of the Lord, man. We always that, that that's all we trying to tell y'all, Israel. Give me Second Chronicles chapter seventeen, verse nine, verse six. So like it. Second Chronicles chapter seventeen, uh, verse six. Because a lot of Israel thinking that us going out to the street corners is, is, is a new thing. You know, it's something that you know we just started doing, but. This is all the way back in the days of Jehoshaphat. Read this out. And his I'm up. Uh, it's like the chapter, uh, uh, the book of 2 Chronicles, chapter 17, verse 6. Read. And his heart was lifted up in the ways of the Lord. This is Jehoshaphat. His heart was lifted up in the ways of the Lord, the king of Judah. Read. Moreover, he took away the high place. He took away the high place. All the idolatry, Jesus Christ, Baal, Krishna, Semiramis, Ishtar, whatever you want to Tammuz, Nimrod, he took it all down. Read. And groves out of Judah. Everything that was in Judah, he took it out and he burnt it. Read. Also, in the third year of his reign, he sent to his princes, even to ben Hell, and to Obadiah, and to Zechariah, and to Nathaniel, and to M Micaiah, uh, to teach in the cities of Judah. What, what, what did he send him to do? To teach in the cities of Judah. He told him to go out there to the street corner, man, and give him wisdom and give him knowledge and understanding. This ain't nothing new. We bent on the street corners because Israel still, they're so re re rebellious, man. You know, in the new covenant, we won't be on the street corners anymore, man, because everybody would be keeping the commandments. No man would be teaching his neighbor anymore, telling them to know the Lord. For everybody shall know him from the least unto the greatest. But until then, boots on the ground. Read. And with them he sent Levites. He sent the Levites, the chief priests. Read. Even Shemaiah. Uh, yeah. And Nethaniah. Uh, and Zebediah. Shlaki, and Asahel. And Shemariah. And Jah. Hamathan, and Adonijah, and Tobijah, and Tobijah, Levites, Levites, read, and with them, Elishama, and Jehoshaphat, priests, priests, Joram, priests, high priests, right. Levites, and what did he tell them to do, read, and they taught in Judah, and they did what, and they taught in Judah, they was on the street corner, man, giving them dust, says the Lord, same thing we doing today, Wisdom been crying out in the streets, man. Read. And had the book of the law. They had what? And had the book of the law. Same thing we got now, man. Got the book of the law. Read. Of the Lord with them. And went about throughout all the cities of Judah. Now they went to some of the cities. Went about throughout all the cities of Judah. They went everywhere, man. Preaching this word on the street corner, man. Been on the street corner. Wisdom been on the street corner. From generations to generation, and Israel's don't want it, man. Israel wanna they want to live the American dream. They want to be Greeks, they want to be Romans, they want to be African Americans, they want to be niggas, man. Because they're comfortable in that. Because sin is easy, you know. You know, you you, you know, sin is real easy. There is no accountability in sin, there is no responsibility, there's no brotherly love in sin. You can do whatever you want to. 
but keeping his commandments, take accountability, austereness, wisdom, and discipline. Read. And talk to people. And then what? And talk to people. Give me Nehemiah chapter 8 and verse 1. See if Nehemiah did something different. Nehemiah and, and, and Ezra. Let's see if they did something different. Let's see if they, you know, you know, you know, did something, did something different. And Nehemiah, he was alive. Nehemiah and Ezra, they was alive in the third century. So around 444 B.C. Read Nehemiah 8 and 1. The book of Nehemiah, chapter 8, verse 1. And all the people gathered themselves together as one man into the street that was before the water gate. Where were they at, I? That was before, into the street. That was before the water gate. Where's them been on the street corner, man? <laughs> it been here. It's just Israel is, man, I, I, when, I, when I first got awakened, I'm like, man, why, why, why does the Most High call us stiff neck and rebellious, man? Why why is it all throughout this Bible? And the more and more that you get on the street corner, the more that you realize and understand it. We, we, we just don't care, man. We just don't care about nothing but ourselves, man. We don't care about the Lord no more. We don't care about the Son anymore. We don't care about our heritage, our nationality. We don't care about nothing anymore. We're just selfish and rebellious, man. Look at your mama. Look at your daddy. Look at your homeboy if you want evidence. Look at Pastor Porchard robbing you Negroes blind. Just look around. Open up your eyes. Read. And they spat unto Ezra, the scribe, to bring the book of the law. What they bring? To bring the book of the law of Moses. I mean, they've been doing this, man. This is in the third century, man, 400 B.C., around that time. They, I mean, this, this ain't nothing new under the sun, Israel. Wisdom been crying out, trying to get our people to repent. That's why a lot of them got to die, man. A lot of them got to get put to death. They have to. And I want to shed a tear. I'm not going to cry one tear. Because hopefully the most high, if I make that number, I'm going to be the one doing it. Because I've been on the street corners. Read. Which the Lord had commanded to Israel. Commanded to the whole world. Commanded to Israel. He only commanded to the Israelites. Jump down to verse 8. Verse 8. So they read in the book and the law of God distinctly. They read in the book of the law of the Most High distinctly, man. Distinctly. That means all the time to me or every day or all the time. Israel don't want to read their Bible. Only time they pick up their Bible and read is just doing Sabbath class. A Wednesday class, but on their own, do they pick it up and ever read it? No. Read. And gave the sense. And gave what? And gave the sense. And gave them understanding. Read. And caused them to understand the reading. And they did what? And caused them to understand the reading. So the Most High raised up prophets to get the nation of Israel and caused them to understand the reading, man. But he only raised up his prophets. But. Israel still got a nigga state in mind that they don't even realize that the men of the Most High are back. They don't even realize that the men of the Most High are out. And wisdom is on the street corner crying aloud. Jeremiah 5 and 20. <coughs> See, this is the problem right here, though. You give them the wisdom. You give them the understanding. And you do your best to cause them to get the understanding. But this is what be happening to them. Jeremiah chapter 5. In verse 20, read this out. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 5, verse 20. Declare this in the house of Jacob and publish it in Judah. He said, go to the street corners, man, and declare it in Jacob and publish it in the house of Judah. He didn't say sit around. He said, go and declare it. Let it be known. Read. Saying, hear now this, O foolish people. See, they think it's us calling us foolish. What the most I call them? O foolish. Most I call y'all fools, man. Because wisdom be out there every time. And you don't want to listen to it. It's a payback for that. Read. And without understanding. And what? And without understanding. Read. Which have eyes. We got real eyes. Read. And see now. We got blinded because they blinded, man. Read on. Which have ears. We got ears. Read. And hear not. Because they ears filled with their homosexual music, man. Read. Fear ye not me. Most I say you don't fear me, man. You don't. Read. Say it the Lord. Say it who? Say it the Lord. Read. Will ye not tremble at my presence? Most I say, will you not tremble at his presence? I got my prophets out there risking their life. They got wives and they got children. 
but I got them out there doing my work. So it's really like they don't have wives and they don't have children. And you women still don't respect your men as Lord. And you men still out here not leading your women out to the congregation and back into the children of Israel, to their nationality and to the gates of the kingdom. Read. Which have placed the sand for the bound of the sea by a perpetual decree. How can you not fear something that made you, that made the heavens and earth? They make the sands of the sea. How can you not fear that? Read. That it cannot pass it. And though the waves thereof toss themselves, yet can they not prevail? Read. Though they roar, yet can they not pass over it? Read on. But this people hath a revolting and a rebellious heart. Wisdom is crying out, man, but Israel, they, 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 they just... Man, it, uh, just stiff neck and hard headed, man. And you try to give it to them as best as you can. You try to. I can understand, man, why Moses was was was, was angry. I can understand why Christ had a full head of gray hair at a young age, man. I can understand it because you're dealing with a people is is just the greatest people on the planet too. Most beautiful people. Don't nobody look better than a so-called black Hispanic Native American woman. That's right. Try to find me one. I still ain't found it yet. Ain't no more. Ain't, ain't no man no austere than a black Hispanic Native American man when he upright. That's right. But Israel just don't want it. Read. They are revolted and gone. He said, "Man, Israel bugged out, man." He said they done revolted and they they bugged out. You can't tell them nothing anymore. This is what the most I said, not us. Read. Neither say they in their heart. Let us now fear the Lord, our God. They don't even say it no more, man. Because they used to pass the poor child. See, they get mad, man. You know, one body, not the school. You, you can go to another Christianity, Israelite school all you want to. So, you know, somewhere that'll, that, somewhere that'll fit your sins. Somewhere that'll make you comfortable. But in here, you're going to get the fear of the Lord. Whether you hear it or whether you forbear it. Because that's what the prophets of the Most High did. Read. That giveth rain. They give it the rain. Rain is knowledge. They give it wisdom. Rain is wisdom. Rain is understanding. Read. Both the former and the latter. Well, both in the old days and in the new days. Read. And his season. In his due season. Because it comes at different times. Read. He reserved it unto us the appointed weeks. Of the harvest. Jump down to verse 26. Verse 26. For among my people are found wicked men. For among the Israelites, no matter how many times we on the street corner, it's found wicked soft men. They scared of their wife, man. We tell them they scared of the white man, or they scared of their wife. They scared to tell their wife no, because they know that their wife... Just like on, uh, what's that movie? Uh, don't be the menace. Don't, don't be a menace. <laughs> when uh, when uh, when they was in that uh, they was in that mail truck. She turned into a demon on the road. <laughs> turned into a demon. That's how these women's is in the truth. Wicked soft men. Read. Yeah. They lay wait as he that seven snares. They set a trap. They catch men. Jump down to verse 31. Verse 31. The prophets prophesied false. See, that's what they used to, man. They used to tee these snakes with a size 28 skinny jeans and no socks, man. Versace on. Milk dud, bald head, man. They used to pastor, you know what I mean, uh, minister shrimp, man. And they're telling them God and then the Lord to ha. They, they, they love every pastor. They got that ha. You know, they be in Sunday church with that ha. As soon as, as soon as pastor hit that ha, Sister Justin with the big hat in the front row, she turning car flips, man. She turning cartwheels, man. Because that's what they love. They love false prophets, man. Read. And the priests bear rule by their means. They bear rule by their means, not means of the most high. Read. And my people love to have it so. He said they do what? And my people love to have it so. And they love it, man. They love it. They love it. They love it. They love it, man. Got a lot of Israelites go right back into Christianity, man. Because, you know, this 
this Israelite stuff. It's, it, it's not made for everybody. A man was just talking to me on the street corner a while ago. He said, said man, y'all approach. You know, y'all approach us, you know. You'll get more people, you know, if y'all approach. I said, yo, that's the same way that TD Snakes got 20,000 people for four services every Sunday. That Joel Osteen got 17,000 people, four different services every Sunday because of his approach, man. Coming to you all soft, prophesying lies, and our people love it. While wisdom, she out there on the street corner, giving you, thus says the Lord, prophesying unto you, giving you everything that you need. But y'all love them weak men. Read. And what will ye do in the end, girl? He said, what you gonna do in the end, man? What you gonna do? You gonna catch that late. Matthew 22 and 9. Classic precept, man. 22 and 9. If your pastor is a real man of God giving you wisdom, why he not doing this? Read this out. The book of Matthew, chapter 22, verse 9. Go ye therefore into the highway. Just how Jehoshaphat had the Levites and the Judites out there on the street corner. Just how the prophets was in the was on the street corner in the garden. Just how the third century, Nehemiah and Ezra was on the street corner. What Christ they do? Go ye therefore into the highway. He said, go out into the highway and give him wisdom. Give him knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Ain't nothing new under the sun. Read. And as many as ye shall find. And as many as want to listen, read. Bid to the marriage. Bid them to that second marriage that's going to be in Mount Zion. Read on. So these servants so went the out. So the prophets, we went out where? Into the highway. Into the street corner, man. Read. And gathered together. All as many as they found. As many as they found. Read. Both bad. Some of them was bad. Read. And good. Some of them had, had, some of them had a humble spirit. Read. And the wedding was furnished. And what? And the wedding was furnished. The wedding was furnished, man. Wisdom is just trying to sup with you, Israel. And you got to allow her to come in and to sup with you. You have to. But if you don't, you're going to catch that lake of fire, man. Luke 14, 23. Luke chapter 14, verse 23. Let's see if it's saying something different. Let's see if it's saying something different over here. The book of Luke, chapter 14, verse 23. And the Lord said unto the servant, go out into the highways and hedges. So if we've been out on the street corners and the highways and hedges, I come past the pig knuckles, I come minister uh, hog mog, I come minister Christmas. Why they not on the street corner, man? Why they end up congregations with them pool pits, man, with the homosexual choir director, man? <laughs> Why they in there? Read. And compel them. And what? And compel he them. He said, and change their minds and make them repent, man. Don't be out there playing games with them. Tell them what's real. Tell them if they don't get their life right, they're going to get their neck snapped, man. Don't be, out, don't be playing no games with them. Read. To come in. To do what? To come in. He said, nigga, get in this house, man. He said, tell him, man, that the most high God is on his way. Read. That my house may be filled. Read on. For I say unto you, that none of these men which were bidden shall taste of my supper. But they don't want to hear the most high God word, man. They don't want to hear it. They too bugged down in the mind. To know anything about the Most High. Sorry, chapter 4 and verse 11. Ecclesiasticus. Chapter 4 and verse 11. You're going to get some more of this wisdom, man. It's all throughout this Bible. And you got to have wisdom. If you want to make it to the kingdom, if you want to judge the other nations as you say you want to, Bruce, Achaeans, you cannot judge without wisdom. Read this out. The book of Ecclesiastes. Uh, Ecclesiasticus. Chapter 4, verse 11. Wisdom exalted her children. Like I said earlier, wisdom is always compared to a mother-like figure, to like a beautiful woman, to a woman. Wisdom exalted her children. Who you think the wisdom, who you think her children is? The children of Israel. Wisdom exalts. Wisdom uplifts. Wisdom exhorts. Wisdom gives you understanding. Her children. Read. And layeth hold of them that seek her. Just like a mother layeth hold unto her child. When she is first born and never lets him go, 
That's how wisdom does to those that seek her. Read. He that loveth her. He that loveth wisdom. Read. Love is life. Why do you think so many Negroes out here, man, they, they all they want to do is go to the penitentiary, be fake thugs, be fake drug dealers, watch the sisters, be, be fake grandfathers, man. Because they hate their life because they don't love wisdom. Why do you think so many sisters, why do you think the sisters cannot take lassie weave out their head, man? They, they can't do it. They so ashamed of what they really look like. They, they can't do it. Read. And they that seek to her and, early. And they that seek her early. Shall be filled with joy. Why do you think the Israelites be filled with joy? Y'all say we mad all the time. We not mad. We just austere men. That's all it is. You just used to TD snakes, man, with a size 28 skinny jeans on. That's all you used to. You used to Tyler Perry, a homosexual, man. That's right. Coming into your church telling you that God love everybody. Read. He that holdeth her fast. He that take hold unto this wisdom. Read. Child inherit glory. You cannot get glory without wisdom. You cannot be exalted without wisdom. Read. And whatsoever. She enters. Wherever this wisdom goes, read. The Lord will bless. The Lord going to bless you, man. If you ain't got wisdom, you can't be blessed according to this, this says the Lord. Wherever this wisdom go, if you seek wisdom, she going to take care of you. She going to nurture you like a mother with her child. And if you're seeking that wisdom, she's going to give you that glory that comes with wisdom. Why you think Solomon had, what's her name, Bathsheba? Why you think that she traveled all the way from Tyre and Zidon to go and to hear his wisdom? He had so much glory on him, he was filled with wisdom. Think about it. Read. They that serve her shall minister to the Holy One. They that serve her. They that serve wisdom shall minister. The word, this word minister just means serve. They shall serve to the Holy One, Yahweh. Read. And them that love her. And them that love wisdom. Read. The Lord doeth love. The Lord gonna love you, man, if you love wisdom, if you love counsel, if you love understanding. But Israel hate that, man, because they got a nigga spirit on them. They, man, they just want to, you know, one up their brother, one up their sister. Oh, yeah, I, I, I got that precept you ain't got, Ock. Negro ain't paid his bills in four months. But he got that precept, though. Tires on flat. No gas in his car. Windshield wiper fluid all the way down. Oil ain't been changed in six weeks. Inspection, inspection sticker been out for the last two years. But he got that precept, though, Ock. A nigga state of mind. Read on. Whoso giveth here unto her shall judge the nation. You cannot be sitting into no spot or no judgment to judge nobody and you ain't got wisdom. Let me explain to you what wisdom is. Wisdom is the understanding of observation. Wisdom gives you every single thing, every observation that can happen at a moment of time. A lot of brothers and a lot of sisters got a lot of knowledge with no wisdom. I'm going to break it down to you. Knowledge is the application or to know how to do certain tasks. So a brother or a sister may have the knowledge to start a fire. They got that knowledge. But their wisdom is so low that they don't even know that if they start this fire right here in this location, it's going to burn down the whole village. A lot of brothers got wisdom. A lot of sisters got a little bit of wisdom. They understand if I set this fire right here, it's going to burn down the whole forest. But they don't have the knowledge to start the fire. Hopefully you got ears to hear that, Israel. Read on. And he that attendeth unto her shall dwell securely. If you deal unto this wisdom, man, woman, and child, your life going to be secure, man. Your bills going to be paid. Your wife going to be good. Your husband going to be good. You ain't going to be living the American dream, but you're going to be dealing securely. You're going to be good. Everything that you need. Read. If a man committed himself unto her. If a man commit himself unto wisdom, read. He shall inherit her. He's going to get her for an inheritance. Read. And his generations shall hold her in possession. So if you get something in your inheritance, that means you're able to pass it down from generation to generation. But you got to commit yourself unto her first. Read. For at the first 
she will walk with him by crooked ways. Say at first, this is what that wisdom, the spirit of wisdom gonna do. She gonna deal with you. She gonna purge all that Christianity you got. Christmas, Thanksgiving, Halloween, birthday, mama day, daddy day, hot dog day, best friend day, all of that. He gonna purge it out. Read. And bring fear and dread upon him. He said he gonna make your life. He said you gonna be wondering, man, why me? Because you gotta get purged out first. Read. And torment him with her discipline. And torment him with what? And torment him with her discipline. He gonna check it, man. Gonna chin check it every time with discipline. Because in order to be an Israelite, you gotta be disciplined. You have to be a prudent man. We're gonna get some of that in uh, Proverbs, the 12th chapter. We don't. Until she may trust his soul. Until she gonna trust your soul. So when she try you, like as a fine, and they said a man will be tried as fine gold and as silver as refined. Until she trusts you, that wisdom read. And try him by her laws. And try him by her what? And try him by her laws. By her laws. The laws. You can't get past it. You ain't keeping these laws, man. You're done for. We don't. Then will she return the straight way unto him? Then you're going to learn the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Then you're going to start keeping the commandments. Then you're going to go to the straight way. You can't go to the straight way without wisdom. You can't. It's impossible. Read. And comfort. And what? And comfort. Then you're going to start getting comfortable, man. Then you're going to be all right. We don't. And show him her secrets. The secrets are only given to the prophets. Are only given to the ones that's seeking her. Read. But if he go wrong. But if he don't want this wisdom. But if she don't want this wisdom. Read. She will forsake him. He said man she gonna turn your back on him. And have you out here bugged out man. Smoking Lucy cigarettes. And, and, and being whored out. And, and saying Esau not the white man. And you know. You know. The, the, the tribe of Issachar not Issachar. Not having no precepts. Having hatred for your brother and sister. She's going to have you bugged out, man. Read. And give him over to his own ruin. He said he's going to give you up to your own ruin, man, because you want to do what you want to do. That's what wisdom does. And Israel don't like that wisdom, man. They don't want it. You try to give it to them. You try to give them the understanding, but they don't want it. Ecclesiastes 14 and 20. Sirach chapter 14. Verse 20, we're going to get some more on this, man. It's all about wisdom. You got to have it. If you don't, you're not going to make it. We don't. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 14, verse 20. Blessed is the man that doth meditate good things in wisdom. Read that again. Blessed is the man that doth meditate good things in wisdom. Blessed is the man or the woman. That meditating good things in wisdom. We should be blessed as a whole, Israel. We should. But we perverse in our own ways, man. We want to do what we want to do. We do not want to do what thus says the Lord. Tell us what to do, man. And that's sad. It's really sad because they got to die. They got to get put to death. Read. And the reason it. Of holy things by his understanding. We don't. He that considereth her ways in his heart shall also have understanding in her secrets. If you, if you take hold to this wisdom, you're going to understand secrets. You're going to be talking to rules and your understanding and your level going to be too high for them. They're going to start having hatred for you. They're going to talk down on you behind your back. That's what they're going to do. Read. Go after her. He said what? Go after he her. He said seek after her, man. You know how we used to do in the world, chasing skirts, chasing floozies, chasing tenderonies. Chase this wisdom, Ock. Read on. As one that trace it and lie and wait in her way. You know, just, just, just like how you waiting in the cut, waiting on Big Booty Judy. Why don't you wait for wisdom? Like just how you waiting in the cut, looking for Mr. Perfect. Why don't you look for wisdom perfect? Read on. He that prayeth in... At her window. He, he that is at her windows. Read. Shall also hearken at her door. He said, man, he going to be at the doorstep. He going to be like, give me the wisdom. Give me the understanding. Give me the knowledge. Give it to me. Please read. He that doth 
So wisdom going at wisdom house gonna be on Main Street, and he gonna be right next door on Main Street. Wisdom address gonna be one two three Main Street. His address gonna be one two five Main Street, man. He gonna be lying at the door waiting on him. Read. So I also fasted a pen in her wall. Read on. He shall pitch his tent nigh unto her. He said he gonna post up right next to her. Wherever wisdom at. Now you ain't going nowhere. I'm here. I need all this meat. I need all this milk. I need all this water, myrrh, aloe, frankincense, gold, silver, water. Read on. And shall lodge in a lodging where good things are. He said he gonna lodge where good things are, not where drama is, man. There's so much drama in Israel, man. It's ridiculous, man. Like, how we gonna be the greatest people on the planet with drama all the time? Hopefully y'all know y'all keep enough drama. You're going to get put to death. We know. He shall set his children under her shelter. He said his children. He's going to put her under the shelter. Read. It shall lodge under her branches. She got big tree branches. He said, I'm going to be right here under the shade. Protect me, wisdom. We know. By her, he shall be covered. By what? By her, he shall be covered. Just like how the tree cover you from the heat. That's how wisdom going to cover you. From that lake of fire, man. Read. From he. From what? From he. Read on. And in her glory shall he dwell. In her glory, man, you're going to dwell, man. In her glory, you're going to dwell. That's beautiful to my ears, man. I love hearing that. I love hearing that understanding. I love understanding every time that I read my Bible. It's getting so. I mean, it's so basic, but if you, if you got a veil over your eyes, you will never understand nothing in this Bible. But once you've been awakened and once you've been repented, you will understand everything in this Bible, man. Give me Ezekiel 2 and 1. Ezekiel chapter 2, verse 1. And this is just what we do, man, what thus says the Lord told us what to do. But, hey, they don't want it. Ezekiel chapter 2, verse 1. Read this out, the book of Ezekiel. Chapter 2, verse 1. And he said unto me, Son of man, stand upon thy feet, and I will speak unto thee. Stand up like a man, and I'm going to give you wisdom. Read on. And the Spirit entered unto me, when he spake unto me, and set me upon my feet, that I heard him that spake unto me. And he said unto me, Son of man, I send thee. To the children of Israel. This is just the call, man, of the prophets. Read. To a rebellious nation. To a good nation. To a rebellious nation. To a wise nation. To a rebellious nation. Read. That hath rebelled against me. Rebelled against the Most High. Read on. They and their father. They and they what? They and their father. Your mama and your daddy, big mama, old school, all of them. Read. Have transgressed against me. They want to do what they want to do. They don't want to attend to wisdom. We be out there on the street corners. They ain't trying to hear it. Read. Even until this very day. Even until this very day, man. Read. For they are imputed. He said he called them imputed, man. That means stiff-faced and hard-headed. Read on. Children and stiff-hearted. And stiff-necked, man. Don't care about nothing but a barbecue, man. Don't care about nothing but what's on Oprah Winfrey Network. Don't care about nothing but on what's on Atlanta Housewives, Jerry Springer, Judge Judy, The Maury Show. Read on. I do send thee unto them, and thou shalt say unto them, Thou said the Lord God. We only telling them, Thus said the Lord, man. You can get mad at us. Hey, it is what it is. But you're going to get put to death if you don't attend to wisdom. That's just, that's just all, man. Don't get mad at us. Get mad at your God. Read on. And they, whether they will hear. Whether you're going to hear it, read. Or whether they will forbear. We know a lot of y'all only. Y'all want to hear T.D. Snakes. You want to hear Meek Mill. You want to hear Bill Bibb DeVoe. You want to hear Michael Jackson, Bobby Brown, all these transgenders. Read. For they are a rebellious house. Oh, so I call y'all rebellious, man. I used to be a part of that. We all did. Read on. Yet shall know that thou hast. Been a prophet among them. Jeremiah 44 and 4. Jeremiah 44 and 4. It's saying the same thing. Read this out. 
the, the book of Jeremiah, chapter 44, verse 4. How be it? I send it to you, all my servants, the prophets. Most I said he sent his prophets, man. We out here telling you, thus says the Lord. Read. Rising early. Rising early, early in the morning on the Sabbath day. Read on. And sending, sending them out there to the street corners in L.A., in Atlanta, in, 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 in Dominican Republic. In, in, in Japan, everywhere, sending them out there. Read. Say. What? Say. Read. Oh, do not this abominable thing that I hate. Most our God hate we out here and saying, man, he hate it. That's just real talk. He hate we out here last high first pop. He hate we out here baby mama, baby daddy. He hate we out here hatred against your own brother, against your own sister. He hate that, man. Read on. But they hearken not. But they did what? But they hearken not. I don't want to hear the most high God word, man. Got wisdom on the street corner crying her log out to you. Repent, repent, repent. But they did what? But they hearken not. Read on. Nor incline their ear to turn from their wickedness. They can't get out of Christianity in the mind, man. You tell them that your Howard Shai never walked on water, they're going to slap you right in front of the face, man. <laughs> you tell them that God don't love everybody, man, they ain't trying to hear none of that, man. You tell them that the, tell them that the most High only dealing with the Israelites, they ain't trying to hear none of that. You tell them that they got to put down the hog mog and the hog butt and the hog feet and the hog shoulder and the hog testicles and the hog intestines. They ain't trying to hear none of that, man. We don't. To burn no incense uh, unto other gods. Man, you telling the man that uh, Jesus Christ ain't a pale-skinned white devil? They ain't trying to hear it, man. You telling the man that they got to stop uh, celebrating Christmas? They ain't trying to hear it. You telling them that they can't celebrate their birthday no more? They ain't trying to hear it. No more uh, honey glaze ham? With the uh, pineapple on it for Thanksgiving? They ain't trying to hear it, man. Read on. Wherefore, my fury and my anger was poured for Why you think we last our first five? Why you think we was brought up on slave ships naked? Why you think our nationality was, given a, was taken away from us? Why you think that we got hatred for our own brothers and sisters? That's the fury and that's the wrath for the Most High being poured out on his children. It's like a daddy just telling you to go outside, get that extension cord, and he whoop you for a whole month straight. But so, but on fire for so long, can't even be able to sit. Read on. And kindle, uh, uh, I, and was kindled in the cities of Judah and the streets of Jerusalem. And they was wasted and desolate as at this day. As at this day, man. Ezekiel chapter 14 and verse 6. Come on, Israel. Return back to your power. Return back to your God. Return back to who you are. Time is running short. Read this out. The book of Ezekiel. Chapter 14, verse 6. Therefore, say unto the house of Israel, Thus saith the Lord God, Repent. You what? Repent. He's telling you to repent, man. He's telling you to change your way. And this has the spirit of wisdom moving through the word of the Lord in your Yahweh shine. It all works together. Read. And turn yourselves from your idols. Turn yourself from Nicki Minaj. And turn yourselves from your idols. What about Drizzy Drake? And turn yourselves from your idols. What about the Migos? And turn yourselves from your idols. Say, get out of that garbage, man. All of them transgenders y'all looking at on Instagram and Snapchat, them drag men. Read on. And turn away your faces from all your abominations. Say, turn away from all your abominations. But if you don't, Ezekiel 18 and 20. Hey, this is just wisdom crying out, man. This, this, this is just the Most High raising up his prophets and just giving you warning. And it's almost time 
And it's almost running out. Read this out. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 18, verse 20. The soul that sinned, it shall die. Read that again. The soul that sinned, it shall die. That's what the most I said, man. Hey, I didn't I didn't ordain. We didn't ordain none of this, man. We, I mean, we, 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 we just creations. We just the product and the work of the glorious Father, the omnipotent power, the everlasting. And that's just what he said. Read. The Son shall not bear the iniquity of the Father. Read on. Neither shall the Father bear the iniquity of the Son. Read on. The righteousness of the righteous shall be upon him. And the wickedness of the wicked shall be upon him. That's what the Most High God said. We out there on them street corners, Israel. Wisdom is out there. Most High raising up some real good brothers, man. Some real strong brothers. It don't matter what camp you in, man. Don't, don't be tripping off none of that. If you ordain for destruction, he going to send you to a wicked camp. If you're ordained for righteousness, he's gonna send you to a righteous camp. So don't get, don't get, don't get, don't get bugged out and all that, man. Proverbs 16, 25. You know, you just gotta trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not into your own understanding. You gotta be prudent in this truth, man. You gotta be wise in this truth. Read this out. The book of Proverbs, chapter 16, verse 25. Verse 25, there is a way that seemeth right unto a man. See, man, it seemed real right unto anybody, you know. I can do whatever I want to do. Read. But the end thereof are the ways of death. Are the ways of what? Are the ways of death. That's thus says the Lord, man. <coughs> Last scriptures, man. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 1. And we out of here. It's a quick little lesson. On this wisdom, if you don't get this wisdom, you're going to get put to death, man. That's just thus said the Lord. Read this out. The book of Proverbs, chapter 4, verse 1. Hear, ye children. Ye what? Ye children. We all children. We all the children of Israel. He didn't say go speak unto the grown-ups of Israel. He didn't say go speak unto the grown men of Israel. He said go speak unto the children of Israel. Read. The instruction of a father. Read the instruction of our father. Read. And the end attend to no understanding. Read on. For I give you good doctrine. This is the best doctrine that you can get that the white man going into slavery. Japanese King Jong-un and Bruce Lee and them, them monk niggas, they going into slavery. You know, you know. Billy, Bob, Gene, Dick, and Andy, they going into slavery. Uh, it seems like everybody over there in Saudi Arabia, name is Mohammed. All of Mohammed going into slavery. And we the children of Israel, the greatest real estate on the planet. That's the best doctrine. Read. Forsake ye, not my law. You say what? Forsake ye, not my law. Don't forsake this law, man. Get it and learn it. Read. For I was my father's son. Tender and only beloved in the sight of my mother. Read. He taught me also and said unto me, Let thine heart retain my words. Let your mind retain these words. Read. Keep my commandments. Do what? Keep my commandments. Say, keep his commandments, Israel. Read. And live. And what? And live. He told us to live, man. It told us to live if you keep the commandments. But what about this wisdom, though? Read on. Get wisdom. He said, get wisdom, Israel. He said, get it. Read. Get understanding. Get understanding, Israel. Read. Forget it not. Don't play games, man. Write it, study it down like you're trying to pass it. Get GED test, man. Read on. Neither decline from the words of my mouth. Don't decline from the words of his mouth, man. Read. Forsake her mouth. Don't forsake wisdom. Read on. And she shall preserve and you. And she gonna preserve you. She gonna nurture you like a newborn baby and her mother. Read on. Love her. He said, take her and nourish her and love her, Israel. Read. And she shall keep thee. And she shall what? And she shall keep thee. Read on. Wisdom is the principal thing. Wisdom is the principal thing. The first part of everything is wisdom. Read. Therefore, get wisdom. Get wisdom. Read on. And with all thy getting. With all your getting, read. Get understanding. Read on. 
Exalt her. Exalt this wisdom. Read on. And she shall promote you. And she gonna promote you. If you got wisdom, read. She shall bring thee to honor. She says she gonna bring you that honor, that glory, and that redemption. Read on. When thou do it, embrace her. If you embrace that wisdom, that honor, that wisdom, that glory, that power, that judgment, that glory is gonna come. Read. She shall give to thy hand a ornament of grace, a crown of glory, shall she deliver to thee. She gonna deliver you that grace and that crown of glory, man. If you listen to her, wisdom is crying out from the streets, giving our praises to the Most High and the Son, Yahweh Shai. Shabbat Shalom.